Uh, in this case, RE stands for research. This is a research DAO, RN DAO. Thank you. Hey everybody, um, my name is Paulo. I'm a designer trying to design DAOs. I'm Andrea Gallagher, I'm a user researcher trying to understand DAOs. Both sides of the coin. Um, today we're not gonna be talking too much about DAOs because we're assuming that since you're here, you already know a thing or two about it. We're gonna be focusing more on the research part of it. Um, we can talk about scientific research ethnographic research, user research, product research, so many types of research. But uh, what we want to highlight is not a particular set of procedures of research, but the mindset of research. Because research is a method of systematic inquiry, kind of like a, a way to structurally learn about something. And that mindset is what is interesting to us. Um, and we can learn about a bunch of things in the world, right? Um, but we kind of split it up into the two spaces, learning about the problem space and learning about the solution space. And uh, also for today, we don't care about that one. We want to focus on the problem space research. Um, There are a bunch of DAOs coming up, big and small, with relations to each other. Um, most of the times, one human being is part of several DAOs. But what's happening in reality, we think, is that all DAOs are going into different directions, and each one are going to their own places, and there's not that much coordination. Um, and um, specifically, if we don't invest and focus on this problem space research, we will probably end up in one of two ways. So we could either be a DAO that um, is trying to solve the wrong problem in the right way, or be a DAO that's trying to solve the right problem but in the wrong way. These are the two most common scenarios, and uh, it's really difficult to nail down both things if we don't invest in this problem space research first. Um, Also, another problem is that if we don't know what problems are trying to solve and we don't understand them deeply, we also don't know what our target is. And we'll have to rely on metrics that are not really impactful metrics, that are not really measuring the impact of what we're trying to achieve, but are more like so-called vanity metrics, like number of Twitter followers of our account or um, number of people on Discord. And so those metrics are not really the ones that are ma mapping the impact of what you're trying to achieve as a DAO, right? And also we could be uh, aiming at the target that's not really uh, the biggest target or the most important target if we don't understand the problem deeply by doing this problem space research. So we are talking about the research that focuses on the problem that uh, human beings have Several human beings doing several types of stuff. Wait. It stopped working. It crashed. Um, and um, we want to focus on problems that human beings have and that's, that are happening in a certain context. And the reason why we want to focus on that is because um, we think that this kind of research, problem space research, needs to be funded and treated as a public and shared good. Cool. So in Web2 traditional product themes, which is where I come from, the research, researchers, problem space researchers, really struggle to do this kind of research. Part of it is because you know that it's going to be duplicated work. You and your competitors are going to be doing research on the same spaces. Um, it's also gonna be wasted because you have to explore a much bigger space than your product is actually gonna focus on. And then third, your company usually wants to use this research as a moat, 
as a way of protecting their competitive advantage against their, their um, other products that are out there. But fundamentally, problem-based research doesn't succeed as a moat. And there's three reasons for this. First is if you are, you don't own reality. And the reality out there of your users and the problem you need to understand, everybody else is looking at the same thing. The second is that if you're doing it in secret, you're not opening yourself up to critique and exposure. And you don't get that quality, which means in the end, on average, you're probably wrong. And the third thing is when we are looking at the Web3 ideals of composability and modularity, those start to break as different DAOs and different DAO tooling organizations um, so are trying to solve problems and not seeing how those problems are connected. They're going to be building things that don't work together and don't fit together. So we believe that in order to do this research well and to understand DAOs and what DAOs need and what DAO tooling projects need to build for them, we need to produce this in a shared and open kind of way. So how do we do this? First thing is we're going to need as a community to build some infrastructure. Uh, we need things like building a map of the entire space, a picture of the broad problems that are out there that DAOs face. We need to build a way for the different research teams that are out there, because people are already out there studying these teams like Tally and Aragon and others are, are doing great research already. But where do they publicize it? Where do they fit it into the big picture so that a year from now somebody can look at that and understand how it fits in? We need to do things like find participants, people like you, who that we can talk to and understand the experience you're having. Um, how do we get the data back? How do we have a data repository so that we can share it in a way that actually preserves um, privacy and an anonymity in this space? The, so that's the infrastructure that we see that needs to be built. The lucky thing is that we're starting to see glimmers of that. Deep Work is working on a participant repository, for example. And we need to start sort of a group of an organization of building that up. So we do that. That's how we do it. Who are we? Paolo and I are with a group called r and and we are interested in research and development for DAOs, by DAOs, and about DAOs. And we see ourselves as a, not a normal agency. In fact, not really an agency at all. This is much more about an association and a collaboration. We see, we want to build a community and a space where DAOs, DAO projects, DAO tooling projects, and DAOs themselves come together to talk about the problems that we're facing, where we work with our clients, the people who are engaged to prioritize and understand which problems are the most painful and are damaging the ecosystem the most. We want to understand which problems need to be dived into and then create a space where people can propose solutions to those problems because that's the development part that's going to create something great. What's the place where, and maybe we expand into something that becomes more of a venture studio to saying like, this is this problem, we all see this problem, can we go get people in there to, to jump on it? So that's what we're doing. How do we do it? So I'm talking about problems. But all of those problems fit together in that broad picture. And in that broad, after we have understand the broad picture, we have to then also go deep. We call this TTT-shaped research. And then you have to use a systems thinking approach to understanding how those problems connect to each other and how you, if you can't solve, you have to solve this problem in a certain way so that we can also solve that one. So that's the explorers we're doing. The first research pr problem that we've taken on is what are the common paths to becoming a DAO? And what are the problems that block progress? So if you are part of a DAO or part of multiple DAOs or trying to do a DAO tooling project or uh, trying to create a DAO, you probably faced some of these problems and you're a human that's operating in a particular context. So it's what are, uh, you are the one that are interesting to us. So we want to talk to you and understand what are the problems that you face so that we can answer that research question. So the only thing that we ask you to do is to join our Discord. It's the only thing that we have until now. Uh, we are forming this since like a month ago. 
uh, in a very decentralized way, in distributed way. Uh, we're also trying to figure it out how to be a DAO ourselves and being uh, over this process ourselves and learning, uh, and learning from it. And um, we do uh, three workshops a week across different themes, and you can join one of those workshops to see how we work, how we facilitate and manage those workshops, and contribute to uh, this kind of research as well. So that's it. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.